Hey guys, I wanted to tell you about what we were going to talk about this Sunday. Just wanted to give you a brief uh, description, maybe a teaser. Uh, this Sunday, we just finished up talking about uh, the humility of grace. And uh, last week, if you didn't listen to the message, I encourage you to go back online. I think the uh, the link is up in the or down somewhere on the Facebook page, but it's uh, it's a link to the message on simple grace and uh, got a lot of good feedback on it and so uh, I just encourage you to listen to it but this week uh, I was meeting with someone and something came over my heart and it was it had to do with Saul and David and how David uh, even though he was being chased by Saul Saul was trying to kill him because he had found he was, he was anointed to be king and David was running away from him and at one point in time David's men came to David and said hey we can uh, we can take Saul right now he's up in a cave he's exposed and so they said, you know, I think the Lord's on this. Go, go kill Saul. So David went up to the thing, and when he got, once he got there, he realized I can't kill him. He's the king. He's the anointed of God. I can't touch him. But he did. He cut a part of his robe off. Uh, just a few verses later, you'll find that David approached Saul to ask him to forgive him because say, even just cutting a piece of his robe off, David thought was a trespass against the anointing of God, and. Um, I was thinking about that in light of uh, a story with Noah and how when uh, after the flood Noah's sons found him you know he got drunk and he was laying out laid out in the tent Ham went in and uh, wasn't uh, very respectful and there's some uh, speculation and ideas on why Ham did what he did but my point was that <clears throat> David knew that even though Saul was like he was he needed to cover Saul he needed to walk in love with Saul even. And David was a warrior, so it was a big thing for him to do that. However, when Ham went in and saw his father naked, he came out and he laughed and ridiculed him. And so the whole point of this was that after that, Shem and Japheth, they walked in backwards. They put a, a, a sheet over their shoulders and walked in backwards to cover their father. They honored him even in uh, when he was doing something wrong. and. My whole point to that is love covers a multitude of sins. And it says that in Proverbs, that love covers a multitude of sins. It doesn't mean that love excuses the sin or allows the thing to keep going on, but it does mean it covers it. And the the tone of this year has a lot to do with fatherhood and, and, the, and the love of the father. And I don't, I don't think that anything speaks greater to the love of a wonderful father is that in that he covers our sin. Of course, he did it with Jesus. This is grace, but this is specifically looking at a couple of scenarios where things could have gone differently. And so, come join us. We're going to have a great time. Uh, we're look, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a great, uh, you know, one or two weeks on this. And I just wanted to just put this out there and let people know. So, we uh, we'll look forward to seeing you Sunday at 8:30 and 10:30, and have a great rest of your week.